the suspension in 2019-20 would have been about 12 games. Duan Hernandez announced on Twitter on Monday afternoon that in his words he has decided to withdraw from the University of Miami and prepare for the NBA draft, instead of returning to the Miami basketball program for the 2019-20 season. Hernandez declared for the 2018 NBA draft as Duan Hulbert decided to return to Miami. He has missed the entire 2018-19 season for Miami while waiting for the NCAA to rule on his eligibility. Without Hernandez who was expected to be the best player on the Miami basketball team in 2018-19, the Hurricanes are 8-9, 1-6 in the ACC. In addition to Hernandez's absence, Miami decided to redshirt junior center Rodney Miller before they knew about Hernandez being ineligible. Redshirt freshman Santa Dengak was later lost for the season after eight games. That has left senior center Abuka Izundu as the only center on the Miami basketball roster. The Hurricanes expected the interior to be a strength in 2018-19 and it has become a weakness. Miami only has eight scholarship players on their roster. The eight includes former invited walk-on guard Willie Harrington who was given a scholarship for the remainder of this season due to the Hurricanes' shortage of scholarship players. Hernandez issued a statement on Twitter. Everyone has their own route. Trust the process. Folded hands medium skin tone. Folded hands medium skin tone. Pick.twitter.com slash JYJSDVYHN up to one Hernandez at the Wangoys for underscore 20. January 28, 2019. Hernandez's statement read, I was advised of the NCAA's decision about my eligibility and am very disappointed with the outcome. I do not believe that the NCAA treated me fairly and it is with a heavy heart that I have decided to withdraw from the University of Miami to prepare for the 2019 NBA draft. I want to thank the University of Miami coach Jim Larinunga, assistant coach Chris Caputo, the coaching staff and the athletic department for all that they have done for me and for their unwavering support. I also want to thank all the fans that have supported me throughout my career and during this difficult process. Lastly, I want to thank my teammates. The relationships I have built with you guys over the last three years are irreplaceable. I grew up in Miami and always dreamt of being a Miami Hurricane. I take great pride in having been a part of the U. While I am saddened by the NCAA's decision, I look forward to starting the next chapter of my life and focusing my energy on preparing to compete at the next level. The NCAA's entire explanation of Hernandez's ineligibility and suspension can be found here. Hernandez's was initially declared ineligible for discussing potential benefits he was going to receive from an agent. All accounts seem to be that it was merely projected and that he never received anything financial assistance from the agent. According to ESPN's J.B. Liz, Hernandez's ineligibility was regarding under $500. What a nonsensical ruling. This is for under $500 in benefits for a hotel room. Last year, NCAA-bound players were cleared in a day. Hernandez loses an entire year and 40% of another. Absurd, what a nonsensical ruling. This is for under $500 in benefits for a hotel room. Last year, NCAA-bound players were cleared in a day. Hernandez loses an entire year and 40% of another. Absurd. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash 81 pdw one zhdk JBLIS at JBLIS January 28, 2019 ESPN reported that the agent in question that Hernandez reportedly was dealing with was Christian Dawkins. Dawkins was part of the Adidas bribery scandal and found guilty of corruption in October. Dawkins sentencing is March 5th. He is likely going to federal prison for two to four years. The article by ESPN's Jeff Borzello detailed Hernandez's involvement and business plan that was alleged to have taken place with Dawkins. ESPN's Mark Schlabach reported in early November that Hernandez was one of 19 players listed by Dawkins in an email business plan. The plan shows Dawkins planned to pay Hernandez $500 per month from September 2017 through January 2018, then $1,000 per month until April 2018. According to Borzello and Schlabach, there was never any evidence that payments were made to Hernandez or that he had knowledge of or agreed to 
any payment plan. Hernandez was initially implicated with 18 other players in an email according to Christy Chirinos of the Sun Sentinel through ESPN. Hernandez was one of 19 players listed in an email by Dawkins as potentially receiving payments throughout his sophomore year. The report indicated those payments would have converted to a loan if Hernandez opted to return to school for his junior year instead of entering his name into the draft. Miami-based attorney Jason Setch and represented Hernandez. He has made a career out of being a student-athlete advocate according to his Twitter profile. He also issued a statement regarding Hernandez's ineligibility. The at NCAA has ruled in Dewan Hernandez's case. The ruling is harsh and unacceptable. The NCAA is punishing the student athletes for their involvement. But who is punishing the NCAA for allowing corruption to be so rampant in college basketball that the FBI intervened? 2019 Section Statement read The at NCAA has ruled in Dewan Hernandez's case. The ruling is harsh and unacceptable. The NCAA is punishing the student athletes for their involvement. But, who is punishing the NCAA for allowing corruption to be so rampant in college basketball that the FBI intervened? The decision gives the Miami basketball team a chance to move on this season. It has been the worst season record-wise during Jim Laranaga's tenure at Miami. Hernandez and sophomore point guard Chris Likes were expected to be the cornerstones of this year's team. Bruce Brown, and Lonnie Walker's departures to the NBA with five years of college eligibility remaining combined was a tough blow for Larinunga but expected. Hernandez was the most talented player on the Hurricanes roster. His ineligibility hindered the Miami basketball deep than talent.